Okay, in this lesson, we will learn about the domain and range of functions. Now, before we begin, let's define first our terms domain and range. So, domain is a set of possible values of input or x or the independent variable, while the range is a set of all possible resulting values of the dependent variable y after substituting the domain. So, let's take for example this function machine. In this function machine f, if our input is x, the output will be the range or that will be f of x. And in math, f of x is equal to your y or the range. So for example, our function, we're given with the function f of x is equal to x plus 2. Okay, so if we input x, the result will be f of x e equal to x plus 2. But let's say let's deal with the real values of uh, x. Let's say our input is 5. So which means that we are actually using the value of 5. And we have a unique output. When you say output, that will be 5 plus 2. So observe that I have substituted x with the new input 5. So therefore, when x is 5 f of 5 is equal to 7 which means the ordered pair we're, that we're looking for is 5 and 7 which means when the input is 5 the output is 7 let's take for example number 1 so we're using ordered pairs to, fi uh, to find the domain and range of the function using ordered pairs it's easy because we have to determine the values of x and the values of y. So the values of x here are x plus uh, are plus two or positive two, three, four, and six. Right? Our domain here will be two, four, three, and six. In the range, you will see, or you just have to focus yourself on the values of y. So we have negative three positive 6 and negative 1 and 6 here and there's also 6 here we just have to write the 6 once in the second set of ordered pairs your x or the input are negative 3 2 0 and 1 so which means our domain are is negative 3 2 0 and 1 well for your range all you have to do is to focus yourself on the y coordinates the value of our y is just 5 so therefore our range is just 5 let's take a look at these uh, given equations let's have number one so number one says y is equal to negative 4 we are restricted to get the value of y so your domain here is that x such that x is an element of any real number when you say the element of any real number that means you can use any values of x because we are only restricted to our range because our range here should be y such that y should be equal to negative 4 that means you can use any possible values of x and then you will have only one y so this is a many to one type of function okay for number two all you have to do is to ask yourself, what are the possible replacement for x? Am I allowed to use different or any values of x? If the answer is yes, then therefore, the domain will be x such that x is an element of real number. Why can we use any values of x here? Because as you substitute any real number that you have in mind, you can actually get a unique value for your function. So example, you're thinking of 1 as your x that means 2 times 1 is equal to 2 plus 5 is equal to 7 if you can think of a negative number let's say negative 3 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 negative 6 plus 5 is negative 1 so which means that whatever value of x that you're going to input here you will have a unique value for y then this answers your question on what will be the range the range will be set of y such that y is an element of any real number in number three are you allowed to use any values of x can you use negative or positive values here of course you can 
there are no restriction for this kind of equation therefore your domain is still x such that x is an element of any real number in the equation we have the two here and the two here is very important okay it means that you have two values of x for just one y so which means that some values of x here may it be negative or positive will have the same value for y so your y is limited and how is it limited observe that this is squared so which means that whatever you get here will always be positive there will be no chance that it becomes negative so example negative 1 minus 3 it will be negative 4 and negative 4 squared is positive 16 now how about let's say use positive so 0 or 1 1 minus 3 is equal to negative 2 and negative 2 squared is still positive let's say positive 10 10 minus 3 is uh, 7 7 squared is 49 it's still positive so you see it is always positive it means that we have a certain minimum value so what is the minimum value that you can get in x minus 3 the minimum value is because if you can get negative or positive you still have to square it so it becomes more positive so in this case the least value that we can get here is 0 so which means if this whole thing is 0 here the, no the value for y is 5 so therefore your y has a minimum value of 5 why minimum value because it's always positive when you evaluate or when you put any values of x here remember that your range is a resulting value after substituting the domain okay and your domain is any real number but you're limited of the range because of the square so since that is the minimum value it's greater than or equal to 5 now let's have number 4 number 4 function of x is equal to square root of x minus 3 now before you always begin plotting down or answering the domain you have to ask yourself if you can use any values of x in the square root okay so remember if it's a square root there are only one there's only one possible answer and that should be positive so you cannot take out a negative inside or when you have a value inside the square root which is negative so you have to make sure that the value here is positive so what are the values of x that can make x minus 3 be positive and you say positive it's greater than 0 but the question can are you allowed to get 0 here do you have a square root of 0 if the answer is yes then therefore we are we are allowed to get 0 so therefore to find that domain all you have to do is to equate greater than or equal to 0 for functions with square roots okay so that means x is greater than 3 so which means you can only use values greater than 3 you can use 4 5 6 but you cannot use less than 3 let's take for example 1 it's less than 3 when you input 1 1 minus 3 is equal to negative 2 and you don't have the value or you don't have a value of, uh, or you cannot extract the square root of a negative 2 so which means our domain is x such that x is greater than or equal to 3 the range here will be dependent on the value that you can get here remember the range is always dependent or it's a resulting value after you input the domain so since we have a limitation for your x here and what is the limitation we have to make sure that it's positive or 0 so which means we have a minimum value here of 0 and then you can get the rest positive you're not allowed to get negative so therefore your range is bounded only y greater than or equal to 0 